Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be looking at the bird blocking or the venting for uh, underneath the roof. So if you haven't already, subscribe down below, like this video, and stay tuned and enjoy. So I'll just go over what I'm doing um, for the block for the bird blocking. Um, I've already actually started it. I'm only going to show probably half of the of the shed um, just to save you a bit of bit of time. I think you'll get the point. So. Essentially, I'm uh, drilling um, two inch holes uh, with an Irwin style bit. Um, it's like a Forstner style bit um, and drilling two or three holes per piece of blocking and then using, um, using this mesh here, um, 27 gauge uh, mesh, um, basically just to cover it and then stapling it and using uh, fencing staples actually as well to hold it in place um, and this will all be covered up underneath the soffit eventually so um, just just to provide a little bit more venting essentially underneath the roof but uh, anyways let's get to it so don't mind the mess here but uh, so essentially I'm using uh, my DeWalt drill here with this bit so uh, it's an Irwin speed bore 2 inch bit um, it's working really well. It's just ripping through the wood. Um, can't say enough about the Irwin bits. I used uh, the auger bits for the uh, the holes for the wire, um, pulling the wire through for electrical, and uh, they worked fantastic. So, um, highly recommend that bit. And I'll put a link down below um, for where you could find that. I got it off eBay, um, a little bit cheaper. And after I drill the holes. Um, those uh, the areas where that's it's coming directly into the um, into the shed. I'm just covering it with mesh. So this is like 27 gauge, um, I think 1 8 inch by 1 8 uh, mesh, galvanized wire mesh. So cutting that into strips of uh, about 14 inches by probably five or six inches, and then uh, putting it over the holes. And uh, I'm using staples stainless steel staples uh, plus um, some fencing staples so these are hot dip galvanized um, three quarter inch I want to say uh, let's see here hot dip galvanized three quarter inch yep uh, got these cutters here so these are tin snips using those for the mesh uh, and then we got an electric stapler actually uh, which is really handy so that's for putting the mesh on um, but yeah that's basically what uh, all you need to do this so So you can see there the what I'm doing for the uh, the bird blocking, um, but I think I'm actually going to start drilling holes from the inside and work out, um, just because I noticed on those ones that I was 
pretty close to the underside of the deck, the roof deck there, the OSB. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start from the inside and work out. I think that'll be a little bit better. So, probably just time lapse it from here on out. Um, just trying to get it done pretty as quickly as possible. So, um, yeah, enjoy. One thing I, I thought I'd mention, um, you, you might have noticed I was drilling holes from the uh, from the one side and then I was going around and I was actually finishing off the hole on the other side. So um, the way this bit works is it uh, basically pulls itself into the wood, um, but when it hits the other side, it, it stops and you can push through, but it kind of shreds the, the wood on the other side. So I was kind of going more or less all the way through and then finishing it off on the uh, the other side so it's a matter of going back and forth another thing with doing the uh, the bird blocking and all that drilling um, sure leaves a mess so this is just from half of that one side I just did um, yeah so it's it's a lot of cleanup and then all the chips get over all of the the blocking um, not too concerning. I'm going to go around and, and clean it up, uh, especially before I insulate. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go through the whole place and air seal it and then uh, I'll clean it up at the same time so I'll get any little chips that are lying around. But yeah.
So for the holes on either end of the shed um, that don't actually go into the shed, I'm just drilling through the blocking that uh, is kind of between the two, I guess the outermost rafter and that uh, inner beam, um, just because I want some air flow through there. So there won't actually be any mesh covering those because um, I'm not worried about any kind of critters getting through those. Uh, it's just actually getting into the shed. So um, basically on either side where there's direct holes going in, will be covered with that mesh, just to clarify that, so.
There you have it, folks. Bird blocking is done. I don't know if you can see that, but so yeah, I don't know. Combination of fencing staples and stainless steel staples. So hopefully that uh, holds it in place, and then soft it will cover cover all that. So. So another. Uh, Another step done. Um, so the bird blocking just finished it. Uh, really tedious. Um, I don't know if it'll. I hope it makes a difference. Um, the idea being, you know, that uh, provides some ventilation under the for air to get up under the soffit and through those vents. And then um, there'll be baffles which will run along the the ceiling here on the inside. So um, hopefully that helps. I don't. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think if if you if you think I'm out to lunch or not. But uh, yeah, that was uh, that took a while. A um, little bit more work than I thought. Every step seems to kind of be the same though. It's uh, kind of underestimate uh, how much time's involved. So now that that's done, it'll be on to the soffit and the fascia and then uh, siding. So pretty exciting. Almost almost done the the outside and then uh, yeah. So, uh, stay tuned. Anyways, um, so that's it for this video. Hope you, hope you enjoyed it. Pretty simple, I think, with the, uh, the bird blocking. But uh, make sure you like this video. Subscribe down below. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.